Hello guys and welcome back to my channel again and uh, I'm back with another crazy tutorial for you guys. I named this effect Soul Drift Effect. So let's get started. So I have opened my After Effects and this is the footage that I will be using. I downloaded it from the pixels. Let's rename it to Min Clip. Now I will duplicate my layer and head to my Roto Brush tool and start rotoscoping out my face. I will fast forward it. And once you are done with the roto brush, sorry, the rotoscope, make sure to freeze frame. Now let's roll out the layer and see how it looks. Also, I will rename this layer again to Roto Face. And then I will pre-comp this layer and move all attributes into the new composition. Hit OK. Now the first effect that I will be using is CC Smear. And drag and drop it into the layer. Now let's adjust this position. Let's increase the radius. As I want it to cover my whole face, you can see it's started to give the look of a stretchy face, which is pulling upward. Now I will add a directional blur. To smooth it out a little let's change my blur length to around uh, 50 to 60 will look good now let's add another effect turbulent displace and we will keep the amount low like around 40 to 50 and with the size we can play now i will animate the offset so hit the keyframe button and let's go at the end of the composition and then I will start animating my offset. Also let's readjust our CC smear position. Okay. Looks good now. Now I will create a new solid layer and let's name it Fractal. And let's drag and drop our Fractal Noise effect. Now I will reduce the brightness and under the transform settings, I will uncheck the uniform scaling and increase the height till it looks like this. Also I will increase a contrast a bit now let's animate our offset turbulence to give it a movement now after you are done with the factor noise layer let's turn off the layer visibility of the layer and select the roto face layer and change our track mat to factor layer and let's convert it to luma inverted mat Okay, so now you can see we, uh, we are getting there to our effect. Now let's add a directional blur again onto our factor layer. You can see there is not enough changes but still there is a slight difference. Also let's animate our CC smear. I need movement left to right so I will animate it now once you are done with everything let's select our fractal layer fractal layer and the roto face layer and then we will pre-comp it and let's name it soul
Now let's create a new adjustment layer and then add a glow effect on it and adjust the settings. I will play with the threshold, radius and intensity. Now let's add a curves effect and tweak the curve. And the next effect that I will be adding is a noise effect. Let's keep its value to around 40 to 50. Okay, I think my footage is looking too bright, so I will head back to my glow effect and increase my threshold. Okay, it looks good now. Also, I have a particle overlay, so I will just drag and drop it into our timeline and change and just drag it below the adjustment layer and change the blending mode to difference you can play with all the blending modes you want also let's animate our soul precomp layer now our soul drift effect is ready i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure to like this channel and support me by subscribing it and comment down on this video thank you so much and have a nice day